So what we're going to do is we're going to create a timer and then we're going to create a game clock and we're going to create a shot clock and then we're going to do a little bit of scripting and then we're going to use a couple buttons to control those and I'm going to put a little automation in it too so when the shot clock counts down um, to whatever time that you have it set for it'll automatically reset that time clock and be ready to go so that's what we're going to have for you today on one man stream so to get started we're going to go up here under widget and we're going to click on timer and we're going to call this one game clock and then next to game clock we're going to click on the checkbox next to start and the checkbox next to stop because in vmix we know that when we use the stop command it's going to reset the clock so what we're going to put in here since this is game clock we're going to call this one start gc for game clock and under stop we're going to call this reset gc for game clock and we're going to click ok um, let's by default so it's a very short interval just for this tutorial we'll go ahead and set the game clock to 20 seconds and press stop and then we'll press start and you can see where it starts to count up well we don't want that we want it to go the other direction let's click stop make sure we click the checkbox here for reverse and then when we start it it's going to count down now the next thing we're going to create is we're going to create the shot clock so we're going to go back under widgets again we're going to go to timer and then we're just going to call this one shot clock and then we're going to click the checkbox next to, next to start and the checkbox next to stop and then we're going to put in here for the link we're going to call this start sc for shot clock and for this one we're going to click i mean we're going to type in start i'm sorry not start reset sc for shot clock and then we're going to click ok and we're going to do the same thing the shot clock we're going to make it a smaller interval so we'll go ahead and make it 10 and we want that to count in reverse as well so when we click the checkbox, you can see where the default time here is 10. So let's go back over here to the widget and we're going to make a few button widgets this time. This one is going to be start game clock. And then the command we're going to use, we're going to click on the plus button right here. And then the command we're going to use is the execute link command, which is right here. And then what we're going to type in is the command that we put in and then under the link down here we type in start GC and we'll click OK so let's just go ahead I like to use green for my start buttons and red for my stop buttons we'll go ahead and click the drop down menu here and we'll choose green and we'll click OK and we'll click start and when we click start you can see that right here it's counting down it started at 13 which is what it was at and then it's going to start counting down now we're going to go up here and on completion we're going to type in this command right here reset GC for game clock we'll click OK then we'll click start and see what happens this time And as you can see, when it got to zero, it automatically went and reset the current time to 20. So it's ready to go again the next time we want to use it. So that's just the start clock button. So what we're going to do is we're also going to create a pause game clock button. So I didn't put that command in there. So we're going to go back here. We're going to click on pause and then we're going to type in here pause GC for game clock and I normally use a blue button for pause so let's go on up here under widget we're gonna click button we're gonna call this pause game clock we're gonna come down here to where it says script we're gonna click on this button one time and then we are going to use the execute link again and then under the link we're gonna call this pause GC for game clock and let's go back to the top here and we'll make it blue and click OK. 
So what we'll do now is we'll click the start game clock button and you can see it starts to count down. And then when we click this blue button right here, pause, you can see where it pauses the clock at 14. And then we'll start it back again. And it starts counting down 13, 12, 11, and we can pause it again. Now, let's go ahead and make one more button for this, and we're just gonna call this one Stop Game Clock. And we know that, or actually we're gonna call it Reset Game Clock. So let's click Widget again. We'll click on Button. We'll call this Reset GC for Game Clock. We'll click the Script button right here where it says Plus, and when we hover over it, you can see where it says Add Script Command. So we'll go to the drop down menu. We'll check uh, or we'll uh, come down to where it says execute link. And then right here, we're going to type in reset GC. And I like to uh, make the reset buttons and the stop buttons red. So we'll go back up here and we'll click the drop down menu for the colors and we'll click on red and you can see now it's reflected red so if we have this correct when i click the reset gc here we're going to see this 09 change to 20 which it does so now we can start the game clock we can pause the game clock we can restart the game clock and we can reset the game clock and we'll be able to do the exact same thing for shot clock. And I'll show you how I, I do that. Uh, we had already set up these two for start shot clock and reset shot clock. Well, I want to do one for pause as well. So we're just going to click the uh, checkbox to the left of pause. And we're going to click in or type in here, pause SC for shot clock. And that's going to be the link we're going to use. All we're going to do here is we're going to duplicate these widgets and then we're going to go and edit them. So let's scoot this one over here and we're going to change this from where it says start game clock. We're going to change this to where it now is going to say start shot clock. And then under execute link, instead of start game clock, we're going to make this start SC, which will stand for shot clock. We're going to do the same thing. Let's duplicate this. We'll bring it over here. We'll change the pause game clock to pause shot clock. And then we'll come down here and where it says pause game clock, we'll change it to pause shot clock and click OK. Now the last one we have to duplicate is the reset game clock. So we'll click this button right here. If you hover over it, it looks like one page over top of another one, like a duplicate. So we're just going to click on this and we're going to duplicate the widget. We're going to bring it over here like so. We're going to edit it and we're going to change it from re reset GC copy to reset shot clock. And then we're going to come down here and we're going to change this link to reset SC for reset shot clock. So let's see if that works. Let's start the shot clock and you can see it counting down. Let's pause the shot clock and you can see it's paused and then let's reset the shot clock and you can see that it reset. We're also going to come over here and we're going to put on completion again where it says on completion. We're going to put in here reset shot clock. So anytime the shot clock expires, we're automatically going to set it back to whatever interval we have it set for. So let's see if that works. We're going to start it. In this instance, it's only going to count down from 10. So now it's at 3, 2, 1, 0. And as you can see, it goes back to 10. So the clock's going to be ready the next time we start it. We're not going to have to go back and reset the clock to 10 seconds and then start the timer. So it's going to save us a step. So let's go back to our vMix UTC. And what we're going to do is we're going to create one button. So let's create a button right here. We'll go to widget. We're going to create a button. And we're going to call this just for the, just for this, we're going to call it all start. 
and we're going to put in two pieces of script. We're going to click this twice. We're going to use the execute link again. This first one is going to be start game clock. And this next one, we're going to use the execute link again. And this one is going to be start shot clock. And we'll click OK. Now let's go ahead, since this is a start button, we're going to go ahead and we're going to make this green. And click OK. The next button we're going to have is going to be a pause button. So when we pause the game clock, we also want to be able to pause this, the uh, shot clock. So we'll do the same thing for that. We'll go up here under widget. We'll click button, we'll bring it down, we'll call this, to keep with the naming, we'll call it all pause. So that means we're going to pause everything and we'll go ahead and we'll make this one blue as well. And then again, we're going to have to make two pieces of script. We're going to have to use the execute link command twice again, so we'll click here. And this is a pause button, so we're going to be call, we're going to be naming the first link pause game clock, and then we're going to name the second link, and we're using the execute link command again. We're going to call this one pause shot clock, and we've already made it blue, so we're good to go. And this last button we're going to make, we're just going to call this one All Reset. So let's go under Widget, Button, call this All Reset. We're going to make it red. And then we're going to need two pieces of script again. So we're going to click the plus button twice. We're going to come down here to where it says Execute Link. And then we're going to call this reset game clock, execute link command again, and we're going to call this reset shot clock. And since we already have that on completion on the timer itself, when it gets down to zero, it's automatically going to reset the, sh the shot clock. So let's see what happens here. When we click All Start, both of these should start. And they do. You can see both of these counting down. We click All Pause. Both of them should pause. And they do. One pauses at 12 seconds. One pauses at 2 seconds, which you would think because there's a difference of a 10 second interval between the two. And then if we click All Reset, this one should go back to 20 seconds and this one should go back to 10 seconds. So let's see what happens. And that is indeed what happens. So let's go ahead and click All Start. And you can see that the shot clock counted down to zero and it reset. And you can see the game clock counted down to zero and then it reset. So all these buttons are scripted the way, they, the way that we want and they're acting the way that they should. Now all you would have to do to implement these buttons into your vMix production is all you would have to do is map them. And what we're going to do today is we're going to use the clock widget. So all I did was go up to widget, I selected clock, and we're going to call this automations, and we're going to click the scheduler button twice. So under this first execute link, we're going to put in start stream, and under the second execute link, we're going to put in stop stream. Now over here, this is military time, and it's 9.13 Eastern Standard Time. So we're going to make this 9.17, because there's a few things I need to do before we start this. And we're going to set this up to start on Monday. So we're going to start 
the stream at 917 and we're going to stop it at 917 and 30 seconds. So let's click OK. Now we have to make us two other buttons. So we're going to go up here to hit widget and we're going to select button and we're going to call this one start stream. And we're going to click or check the execute box and under link, we're going to type in start stream, the same thing we put in the execute link in the clock. We're going to click on script here. We're going to go to the output scripts, output functions, and we're going to, we're looking for start streaming, which is right here. So we have that one. So what we're going to do now is we're going to duplicate this one. We're going to bring it down. We're going to modify it a little bit. We're going to call this one stop streaming. We're going to change the link from start stream to stop stream. And then on the script, we're going to change it from start streaming to stop streaming. So let's double check this real quick. We have this start stream, stop stream on the links. Over here, this one is execute link start stream. And this is execute link stop stream. So let's go to this view. And when this hits 917 here, we should see the stream light up here. So we're at 916 right now. And this will work for any of the vmix utc uh, output settings and you can see right there where the stream comes up it does go uh, red which is awesome so in 30 seconds we're going to see this go back off again at 21 17 30 so at 9 17 and 30 seconds we should see this stream light go back off there we go and that's how easy it is. VMix UTC, as I said many, many months ago when I started this tutorial series, it's a very, very powerful tool and you can use it for a lot of things. You can just imagine all the different automations that you can set up uh, in here. You could set up overlays, you could set up inputs, uh, you could set up um, lists to play automatically. I mean, the, uh, the possibilities are pretty much endless. If you like what we're doing here at One Man Stream, please give us a thumbs up and a like. And make sure that you do subscribe so that you'll be alerted as soon as new videos are posted. Make sure you do stop by our website, onemanstream.com, uh, where we have many of the graphics that we've made along the way, along with uh, many of the vMix UTC controllers. Uh, they're just a couple dollars a piece, and it's a way that you can help support One Man Stream. Thank you so much.